So our next step is to get our Goodreads account going and it just got really a lot easier. So let's go to a new tab. We're going to go to Goodreads. And when you go into Goodreads, you are going to sign in. And it will ask if you want to sign in with Google. Yes, I've already got my email open, so I'm going to sign in with Google. And I'm going to choose my school email and say accept. Now, um, <laughs> you didn't allow us to get your, I'm going to try that again. JM Steele. There we go. Now it did. Here's this awesome thing. Remember how we made those Amazon, um, our Amazon stuff? So we're going to say get started. It will take our all the work we did in Amazon and it will let us just sign in with our school email again. And mine is my personal email right here, but I'm going to change it to my school email. J M Steel at madison.k12.wi it probably should remember you I don't know why that happened for me and password and it says okay we'll do this it's got it I said okay and now it's going to help me that I don't have to go search for my books all over again so it's got some stuff and it's got things I've <laughs> how to talk so your kids will listen and listen so kids will talk so then when I go through this um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and it says add your Amazon books to Goodreads only the books you read or shelf so if I've really read it some of these are books that we've downloaded and maybe I haven't read or maybe I was considering it or I bought it for somebody else so they're not necessarily books I've read and um, anyway I'm just gonna skip that if it'll let me load more books and boy, it's looking really old. These are books I've ordered from Amazon, I guess, years and years ago with this account. But you shouldn't be able to get there. But I'm going to just hop over to my books and see if my books are there that I had for my other one. And yeah, these are the ones I had for my Amazon. So that's great. And it'll let me do book purchases, but I don't need to. So here's all my red. And then what I want to do is I want to get Goodreads to tell me books I want to read. So what it usually does is after you've got at least 20, you can do, look at recommendations. And it knows what your interests are. And you, what I want you to do is I want you to add a minimum of 10 books to your want to read list based on what it gives you. So go through and look at those suggestions. And if it's not giving you good suggestions, I want you to add more books to the, the read list. Okay.